So now I'm finally ready to apply the moment area theorems. And the first one I'm going to calculate is this vertical distance to point B from the tangent line at A, which says that TBA is equal to this first moment of area of the integral, or this AB m over ei times dx. And this integral, this AB part right here, this from A to B, this integral represents the area from A to B of the curvature diagram. And this x bar represents the distance from the centroid of this area, which I will put in red, to point B. So this distance right here. And we know from before the length of segment AB was this lowercase a. So the centroid of this triangle is a distance one third a, or a over three. And so when I try to solve this out here, let me put a little subscript b there so that you know that's the distance of the centroid of the area to point b. This, if I go ahead and I plug and chug right here, this will be a over three times the area in purple. And that area in purple is just one half the base, which was A, times the height, which is negative PB over EI. And just work out some little algebra here. This will give you negative 1 6 PBA squared over EI. The negative just means that the point B is below the tangent line at A. Right here, if I look over here, you see that point B is below the tangent line at A. So here's the tangent line at A, here's point B is below it. So now that I have TBA, I can calculate this angle phi. And you know, I, I'm only worried about magnitude, so I don't need to worry about the negative sign out in front here. So this phi is equal to PBA squared over 6EI divided by A, which is just PBA over 6EI. So there's that angle. And now I can just go through and proceed with all this other stuff. I can even calculate D, right? This distance D, this vertical distance D. And this D was equal to A plus B times phi, which was PBA over 6EI. And now I just need to apply my moment area theorem one more time and calculate what this TCA is, or the vertical distance to point C from the tangent line at A. So let me bust that right here. And if I write out TCA, looking again at this moment diagram, I know that this TCA is, you know, this this is the formal theorem A to C M over E I times dx. It's the area of the curvature diagram all the way from point A to point C, which I'm allowed to break up into seg. I kind of replace the second moment area theorem sometimes with the summation, just like when we calculated centroids. And here, you know, with this x uh, bar i a i kind of business. That the reason I can do that is because I can break this up into two areas. The second area being this area right here, and I can just sum up the first moments of area of each of these to point C. That distance is B, and the distance from the centroid of this orange region right here to point C is two thirds. So now I just got to work this uh, summation or this first moment of area calculation using the two geometries here or this summation. And so I know for let's call this purple area the first area. The area of that is one half negative PBA over EI. And the distance from point C to the central of that is actually this total distance right here. And that is B plus A over 3 plus the orange area, which is 1 half the base, which was B times the height, which is negative PB over EI times the arm, which is 2 thirds times B. And what we will get after we work out this algebra here is, I'll get this, this TCA is this negative 1 half PB squared times A over EI minus 1 6 PB A squared over EI minus 1 third PB cubed over EI. And you'll see that if you look at this, all this has units of displacement in it because EI is a force times distance squared. And now I can calculate based on this last part. Now I can apply this last portion right here and calculate the magnitude of the deflection at point C. And again, I can 
remove the negatives because I'm only playing with magnitudes here. This delta C, this delta C, the magnitude is equal to TCA minus D, which is essentially this mess, which is this mess right here with an absolute value so everything becoming positive so ah let me rewrite that so here this will be so that mess right there minus this d minus this d over here pba squared over 60i minus pb squared a over 60i and i'll know right off the bat that this one cancels with that one so that's nice and if i combine everything together here I will get that this delta C is equal to one third PB squared A over EI plus PB cubed over three EI. And that is the magnitude of deflection at point C. Now it's important to remember this is the magnitude of this placement at point C. So it just gives us the distance or the magnitude. Uh, we don't. It doesn't indicate whether it went up or down. We know it went down. So if we had an actual coordinate system here, that where we said this is plus x and this is you know v for vertical deflection and anything any displacement above the x-axis would be positive anything below it so in this case the displacement at point C would actually be negative the magnitude of Delta C okay so that would actually be my answer if, if you had to give a an orientation associated with your number all right so maybe this problem would have been easier with numbers but hey don't judge me judge yourself what's up let me know if you have any questions see ya